So today I'm going to make another one of these burn pots right here because the stuff gets like corroded on here really hard and it's hard to get off and the stove gets used a lot and it's got to take a long time to get that stuff off of there so it would be easier just to make another one of these things to alternate them every time the stove is clean. So now what I have to do is replicate this and make a pattern to replicate it. So I have an idea for that. There, now that should be the basic shape that I need. Now all I have to do now is just measure this side to side and should be all set.
All right, here we are in the trailer here. There's no lights, it's pitch black out. Uh, apologize if it's hard to see, I'm sure it is hard for me to see. I got the holes all drilled in this thing in the marks where I gotta bend it. Um, this is somewhat thick steel, I'm not sure the exact gauge on it. I'm not sure if this is gonna bend it, but we're gonna find out. Should be, should be able to. Alright, well, I guess that's not going to bend that. I'm not going to try any harder because I don't want to ruin this thing. That sucks. <laughs> I just put quite a bit of force on that and it barely even bent it. So, Alright, we're not going to try anymore with this because I don't want to ruin this thing. So, uh, let's go figure out a different way to bend this. So the only other way that I got to bend this with the tools I have to work with is... Um, Take the angle grinder and score about halfway through the metal and uh, bend it and then weld it. That's a real pain in the ass, but that's all I have. That's all I could do in short of going to the metal shop that has a big break and having them bend it, which I just don't feel like doing. Um, so I'm just going to cut these and just do it that way because that's all I could do. To get a nice straight bend. I mean, I can always put it in a vise and hammer it over, but that never comes out good when you do that. So I'm just going to do it that way. See how this thing fits in our jig that we made here, or our mold. See how our angles line up. I made this part a little bit bigger than factory because the pellets kind of like to jump over and work their way out when they fall down in here, but it's not that much bigger. The rest of it's pretty much spot on though. You can see I 
put it right in there so I mean it doesn't make for you know this thing would have came out really nice if I would have had a break to bend these bends on but you know whatever it's kind of frustrating doing it like that but I mean if you do it nice and weld it I mean it comes out pretty nice but it's just a little extra work so yeah I burnt through in a couple spots down there because I ground it a little bit thin but what are you gonna do so yeah I guess the next step is to put this thing in and see how it works can't imagine it's gonna work much different than the old one but I did a couple things different I I drilled some more holes but they're a little bit smaller on both sides and this is a little bit different but it's the same for the most part as the old one so I can't imagine it's gonna work that different I mean it's only a pellet stove so now how technical can you get but yeah I think this will work good all right next thing we're gonna work on here I got this thing all done I got this thing here it goes in a shower it hangs in a shower and uh, like holds the bottles and stuff like that and everything you buy these days is so crappy this is like chrome plated or something like that when it was bought and now it's just completely just just rusted right out i mean it's it's crazy and another one of these things is like 35 bucks or something it's it's pretty well made it's metal it's it's a shame but instead of throwing it away i'm going to I got my little speed blaster here and uh, I'm just gonna speed blast the rust off and it's not worth getting a big the big dog sandblaster out for this sandblast the rust off and just pick out a color for it that'll look good and we'll just paint it and see how long it lasts I guess so let's get to it
I got a coat of paint on this thing and a coat of clear. Didn't go too crazy on it. It's only a rack. It's a pretty nice color though. Ford color, I believe. Or just some concoction threw together, I don't know. Just go through paint and pick out something that looks decent. It looks pretty good though for what it is. Hopefully it'll last a while. I put a real heavy coat of clear on it. I got the heater under it baking it on so I'm gonna let this bake on for a while and call it good. Looks pretty good though. Alright here it is the moment of truth. We got the old one in there burning so we're gonna take this thing and shut it down. We're gonna take that one out and then put this one in and see how it performs. All right, so now that I got this thing powered down, we're gonna take the old one out. First, we'll compare them, see what they look like. They're just a slightly different, but I didn't have this one with me as a pattern when I made it, so they don't look too bad for just kind of going off of a styrofoam mold. A little bit off, but it's pretty close though. Let's see how this one fits in here. It fits nice. The only thing left to do is try it out. So far it looks like it's breathing pretty good. I actually like the way it looks. Alright, well we're waiting for this thing to start up a little better. Now that I got this old one out again, you can kind of see like the stuff that builds up in it. So what this will allow me to do is uh, when, now that I got this one going, I can actually uh, take some time to clean this one out and get all the crap off of it and make it clean. This is actually pretty clean right now. It was just cleaned yesterday. But, and then when this one's clean, you can just put that one back in there and then vice versa, just keep swapping them back and forth. So I think that'll save a lot of time for the downtime that this thing has. All right, so here it is about 10 minutes later, 10, 15 minutes later and this thing is up to operating temperature. The blower kicked on, got nice warm air. And I gotta say, that is a really, really nice looking flame that's coming out of that. It's pretty uniform. Cause I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the one that I made has slightly more holes in it. The holes are a little smaller and there's slightly more of them. And I figured that would kind of help with the breathing of it a little bit. Could be right or wrong, I don't know, but Anyway, so far it's working really good and I think it's going to work pretty good from here on out because it's only a pellet stove. It's not super complicated. So, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's definitely getting hot in front of here. So I think that's my cue to end this video. So until next time everybody, thanks for watching.